What is up, Tut Team? Coach Sammy here with a 30-minute core abdominal workout. For today's workout, I want you guys to grab your exercise ball, low resistant tut plates, and your D-handles attached to the bottom. To start off, I only have one, uh, one D-handle attached to the bottom, but have your second one close by. Don't forget your mat, towel, and your water bottle, and a wicked attitude to power through this 30-minute core workout. Like usual, I'm gonna run through all of the exercises because we have three different blocks today. Then I'll warm up, and then we'll jump right into it, okay? So as you're installing your D-handle at the bottom, I got one here. I myself have five uh, five pound resistance on each side, so I'm starting at a low resistance. Feel free on our second or third round to add some more tut plates and make it a little bit more challenging for you, yeah? So to start off, we got cable leg lowers, cable bicycles on both sides, and then you're gonna have a cable crunch. If you're like, Sammy, I don't know what that is. Don't worry, I'm gonna demo it all for you. Make sure that you are attached at the base, like I said. For the first one here, you're laying onto your backs. Your arms are above head. You're gonna pull into those resistance so your arms are nice and straight. Legs are gonna be lifting up. And what we're gonna do is just alternate legs going down. So almost essentially like a dead bug, I want you to remember to keep the low back nice and firm onto the ground. So really tuck that core in, keeping the resistance in the hands and lowering the legs. For that first block, it's 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, yeah? Second exercise, you're flipping over and we're doing a bicycle crunch with the D-handle. If you've never done that before, here is your chance to start and get fired up. Remember, we're keeping it low resistance. So you have one foot attached in and essentially a bicycle on your back. So you're crunching it in, opposite elbow to opposite knee, release. We're hanging out here for 50 seconds. As you can see, my shoulder is hovering from the ground and so is my heel, okay? Once that minute is done, you're just gonna switch feet and obviously same thing, other side. Crunching it in, staying tight in the core. Last but not least, you're just gonna quickly attach your second D handle. You're still gonna hang out on your back and for that fourth exercise, all I want you to do is put both feet in to those handles and you're doing a full crunch. Full crunch, we are getting super sweaty with this. So here again, same resistance, laying onto your back and crunching those legs in, release. So knees to elbow and release. We move with control and we move on that minute. So we got three rounds of those four exercises, okay? Then we have two more blocks but we're starting with that. So I'm gonna warm you up, we'll get into that. I'll demo the second one and the third one before we start it, yeah? Onto our feet. We're gonna do a few inchworms to warm up, a few bird dogs. If you're like, Sammy, what are all these names? Don't worry, we'll get through it. Inchworm first, standing tall, feet, hip width apart. Reach for the ground, walk those hands out into your plank. I want us to warm up the core here, squeeze the booty, squeeze the core, walk the hands back, stand tall. Give me four more just like this. Walk it out, tight core, walk it back, stand tall. Three more, good. Squeeze, this is our warm up for the core. Nice, last two, tight core. Bring it back. We're moving with control for our whole ab workout, yeah? Tight core here, last one. And bring it back, awesome. On onto all fours. Hands are right underneath shoulders. Knees, right and hip width apart. You're doing opposite arm, opposite leg reach. Keeping the core tight, squeeze, bring it in. Good, switch. Keeping those hips aligned, good, switch. We're just doing 10 here, really firing up the core and getting ready for our tut training 30 minute core. I'm calling it death by core workout because it is a burner. Okay, give me four more on each side, right? So that's one, nice. Flex the foot if you need to, hold and you're squeezing that butt. Good. Now we got two left, reach. Breathe, good. One more right here. Nice, last one. Excellent, stand tall, maybe shake out the legs. If you wanna do a nice back bend, feel free to do that here. 
We are ready to go for that first block. Reminder, four exercises, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off, I got my watch. So make sure you're installed with just one handle to start, or you can keep them both on if you'd like so that you're not fiddling. Otherwise, just keep one to start, and we're starting with our leg lowers, okay? So get your top plates. Like I said, I got fives on each side. Let's get into this workout. Let's get under tension together, right? Handle up. We got 50 seconds of leg lowers, alternating legs. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's do it, fam. One leg down, pushing into those hands and switch. Remember, my heel is hovering from the ground, yeah? Good. Try to keep those legs nice and straight. Woo! We are getting in to some crazy core isolation. Really feeling it already on this first exercise. Breathe. Stay tight with me for these 30 minutes, yeah? Down, good. That's already 20 seconds in. Press into that handle. Lower, back up. Lower, good. Pushing that low back into the ground. Nice. You got 10 seconds here before you switch over into those bicycles, okay? Four, three, so choose a leg. One, let it go, switch onto your back. One foot in, maybe it's your right foot or left, doesn't matter, we are starting in three. You got the crunches, two, one. Yes, in, release. Crunch opposite elbow to opposite knee. Move with control. Breathing, good. Nice. Good work. You are already 20 seconds in. You got less than 30 to go. Good work. Hup. Core tight. Woo. Breathe through. Feel that tension in the hip flexor. That is totally normal. Hup. Good. Crunch it in. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Excellent switch. Switch legs. We're starting in three, two, one. Crunch, switch. Good, elbow to knee. Hup. You'll know for round two if you need to be switching those top plates or maybe adding a little bit more resistance. Elbow to knee, release, good. Crunch, nice. You got less than 30 seconds here. Any adjustments need to be made, feel free, and then get right back to it, crunch it in. Working the obliques, yes. Here we go, five seconds, four, Three, two, one. Attach that second handle if you've released it. Don't worry, you have time. We got one minute of a double D handle crunch, okay? So install it at the base. Make sure you have both there. Put both your feet in. And we got one minute solid work to finish round one. Ready? Onto your back. And knees to elbow. Yeah, now we're doing both legs, right? Good. Feel the burn. We are finishing round one. Crunch and release. If you're like, Sammy, I'm done. You can put those heels down, relax, come back up and fight through and finish this off with me. Good. Hup. Nice work. You got less than 20. Breathe. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Let it go, ouch, feel that burn. Embrace the shakes. We are going in to round two. So take this moment right now to take off one D handle or you can keep it on. Maybe it's like a little extra break, right? We are getting right back in to those leg lowers. Two more rounds of this. I told you it was death by core today. All right, are we ready, fam? Let's get under tension once again. Round two in three, breathe, two, one. Legs up, push into those hands, 
and lower. Good. Whew. Round two. Oh boy. It is a spicy workout today and we just started. Whew. Breathe. Good. Slowly lowering, keeping that heel off the ground. Watch the bend in the elbows. Keep a nice intention there. Keep pressing, keeping the core tight. Good, you're already 25 seconds in. Nice work, stay tight, low back is in the ground, yeah? Good, push. Here we go, three, two, one. Take this moment, switch on to your back. You know what's coming. We got our bicycles. Pick a leg, hook it in, sit on back. Ready, three, two, one, crunch. Good, Hup. breathe. If you're like, oh boy, I'm burning, it's okay. Shake it out, back in and crunch it. You're moving at your pace. Remember, I am just your guide here to give you a little extra motivation, a little extra push to challenge you a little bit more. You keep moving. We got 20 seconds, less, I lied. We got 10, breathe. Yes, and then we switch, yeah? Push. Three, two, one. Woo, switch feet. I'm feeling those shakes already. Means we're doing something right, right? Okay, back down we go. Three, two, one. Opposite elbow to opposite knee. If you need to put that foot on the ground to help you get through these 50 seconds, you do it. You make modifications right here. You can keep that foot on the ground and just crunch it in. This is a little bit more advanced, right? Right here. Keep it on the ground. If you wanna stay slow and controlled, you're still working the core, right? Keep going, less than 20. Breathe, nice. Hup. Crunch it in. Here we go. Five seconds, four, three. Can you give me two more? One, nice. All right, take this moment. Attack that second handle, or maybe you already have it. Hook both feet in. Big breaths here. Good, we are finishing round two. So strong, feet in. Create some tension, you got a double crunch. Here we go, three, two, one. Make sure you're positioned properly and go. Again, if you're like Sammy, I'm burning. Heels can come down, bring it in. Keep the feet nice and flexed so you don't lose those handles, okay? Good, elbows to knees, tap the heel. Crunch it in. Keeping that low back as best we can into the ground. Hup. Good. Yes, less than 20 here. We can push through. Hup. Good. Breathe. Nice. Make the modifications when you need to. We still got one more round. Maybe it's a stretch. Give me five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, okay, your break is here. I am struggling with you. This is the point, we have some more challenging workouts, right? Round three, coming up, adjust that D handle once again. This is your mini extra break in between rounds. You know what's coming, leg lowers. Last round of this block, and then we move on to that exercise ball, okay? Here we go, three, I want you to fight and challenge yourself just a bit more, two, one, legs up, tension into that D handle, leg lower, good. Breathe, yes, we got four minutes of work and then you got a nice little rest while I demo second block. We fight through fam together, yes, lower, good. Breathe, you are already 30 seconds in, give me 20 more. Right here, stay tight, breathe. Lower, bring it back. We are trying with those legs straight. If you can't, that's okay if you're just tapping right here. <sighs> nice, okay? Just keeping that core tight, keeping tension into that D handle, good. Two, one more. 
Lower, nice, onto our back. You guys know your modifications for this one. We got our bicycles, each leg, 50 seconds. Choose a foot, get it on there. Three, two, one. Remember, you can keep that foot on the ground and crunch it in. If you're like, Sam, yeah, I got this. I got a little extra juice. Then lift that other leg off the ground and crunch for the obliques, good. Nice. Good work. You are already 30 seconds in. You got 20 left. Maybe that means getting that foot off the ground. Hold it. You got 10 right here. Breathe, crunch. Three, two, one. Up you go, switch it up. Two minutes of work. Big breaths. Remember, plant that foot if you need to. Three, two, one, go. Oblique crunch, really. Lift that shoulder up. Nice work. Up. Good. Crunch it in. You got 90 seconds left of this block. Breathe. Good. Crunch. Maybe that's a challenge. Lift that foot off the ground. Good work. Here we go. 10 seconds. Fight through. Finish it off. Three, two, one. Attach that second handle. You got one minute of work. This is your little break. Your little check-in, because you know you're attaching both feet. We are crunching. Remember, you can put those heels down if you need to. Let's go in three, two, one. Crunch. Remember, tap the heels if you need to. Good. It's your last minute here. That low back is in the ground. Stay with me, fight through, okay? Crunch, elbows to knee. Good, yes, fight through. You got 15 seconds. Yes, we can. Crunch, come on. Let's go, Tut team. Almost there. Three, two, one. Let it go, nice work. Let those D handles go. Maybe you wanna lay onto your back. Maybe you wanna stay seated, or maybe you feel like standing. I just want you to pay attention for block number two. With that exercise ball, you don't need to do anything with your tut. Just grab that ball onto your mat, grab a sip of water and towel off as you need. We have three exercises. Once again, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off, okay? We are doing three rounds. So we got a little nine minute crunch here. So our first exercise, you take this well deserved break right now, or you can demo the exercises with me and practice them. We're laying onto our back. You're just doing a nice big crunch. So I have the ball into my mid back. I'm almost arching over the ball to start. So I'm getting a full crunch in and release. My fingertips are gently touching the sides of my head here. I'm not pulling my head. I'm just gently resting them there and we're doing a full crunch. You keep that chin tucked, okay? So that's exercise number one. Two, you're gonna switch over and give me a plank onto the ball. You get to decide, team, if you're gonna stay on those forearms or onto your knees, feeling in, leaning, having that tight core. A little bit more advanced option. You are going on to a high plank, keeping that booty nice and tight and that core tight. We have a 50 second hold. Last but not least, you have a ball rollout. So the option again, onto the forearms. You can go from the knees, you're rolling it out slightly and bringing it back in. The only part that's moving here is my elbows shifting my arm weight forward and bringing it in, okay? If you feel like that's too easy, hop onto your feet, same thing. It's a small little movement forward, okay? 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Grab that ball. It is time to work, fam. Three rounds, three exercises, starting with the crunch, yeah? Onto our ball. 
Arch your back just ever so slightly. Remember, keep that chin tucked. Are we ready, team? Three, two, one. Give me a crunch. Use your breath. Move at your pace. Keeping the core tight, yes, but getting that full crunch in. Good. My feet are about hip width apart. Good. Crunch. Breathe. 50 seconds here. This is the easier one out of the three. So we're starting with it nice and fresh, still targeting that core. We don't want to underestimate these sit-ups, these crunches. Breathe. Awesome work. We got 15 seconds right here. Crunch. Really try to get those elbows in. Good. Maybe lifting those shoulders a little bit more. Here we go. Three, two, one. You got 10 seconds to flip over. You're giving me a hold, either on the forearms or high plank, yeah? Onto your knees or onto your toes. Here we go. Three, two, one. Maybe you want to start on your toes and then lower down. I just want you to keep the core tight. Open up those feet so that you feel really tight in the core, really tight in the booty. Make sure your ball is filled up with air, right? If you're like, Sam, I didn't, I didn't prep for the ball. Get onto your mat. Don't you worry. You can still do your plank from the base, okay? Hold it. You got 20 seconds right here. If you're like, I'm shaking, embrace those shakes or lower down to the knees. Hold the plank right here. Squeeze the butt. The feet don't have to lift. Squeeze the booty. Hold it, fam. 10 more seconds. Yes, we can. Good. Five, four, three. Stay tight. Two, one. Let it go. We got rollouts from the knees or from the toes. Here we go. Big breath. Inhale. Exhale. Rollout time. Reach. If you're going from the knees, bring it in. We are slow and controlled here, right? Reach, 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 reach. You're almost extending those arms straight is what you're trying to do here. That's where the movement is. Bring it in, good. Reach, if you're from the toes, still nice and controlled. It's a small little movement. Yeah, you're feeling that burn, hold it. 25 more seconds, make sure the booty's not up, right? Tuck in those hips, tuck in the tailbone and bring it back, good, yes. You got 10 seconds here. We are almost done. Round one. Quick burner. Here we go. Five, four, three. Hold it. Two. Keep it tight. One. Let it go. Grab a sip of water, whatever you need. What needs to change for round two and round three, okay? Maybe we're challenging ourselves a little bit more. Maybe you're giving me a bit more of a crunch. We got two rounds, fam. Back onto your ball. Get into those crunches. Position properly first. Tut team, three, two, one. Let's do it, rest those fingertips, crunch high. Let it go, crunch. This is already round two, breathe. Good, Hup. nice. Exhale on that crunch, right? Good, inhale, crunch it in. Maybe lifting a little bit higher. Nice work. Core tight. Good. You got 20 seconds right here. Crunch it in. Yes, crunch it in. Big breaths, big crunches, slow and controlled movement. We are still under tension for four. Hold it. Three, crunch it in. Two, one. Nice. Take these 10 seconds. Flip over onto your front. All right, Tut team, round two. Onto that exercise ball. We got our crunches. 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. You know the drill. Position yourself, here we go. Three, two, one, let's work. Crunch it in. Maybe you're lifting just a bit more this round, right? Crunch, fingertips are resting above those ears or around your ears. Crunch, good. Big breath, breathe, you inhale, exhale as you crunch. Keeping the core tight. I know you've heard me say that a bunch of times today, but it's your reminder that you're staying nice and tight. Let's go. We've already got 30 seconds in. You got 20 to go right here. 
Chin is tucked, crunch. Good. Finish it off. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. All right, exercise two, you're holding that plank for me. Either on high plank or on those forearms. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Remember, you can go from the feet or the knees. Press in, press in, hold it. Squeeze the butt and the core. Press in, it's also working those shoulders as much as we can from here. Maybe you're in a high plank, excellent work. Just try, maybe close those eyes, focus. Keep a nice center balance point and squeeze and hold. If you're on those knees, tuck that booty in, hold it right here, squeeze it. 30 seconds in, 20 to go. Cut team, hold it. Good, maybe you're back onto your toes. Challenge yourself here. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Let it go, 10 second rest before we get into that rollout. How are you challenging yourself this round? It's a slight movement, right? Breathe, here we go, in five, four, three, two, one. Tuck the booty in, roll out, bring it in. Good, out. And if you're on those toes, small movement, bring it in. Good. Whew. Nice. Reach. Watch the booty, right? Tuck it in. Here we go. Good work. You're already 20 seconds in. You're past it. Halfway. Stay with me. Finishing round two. Good. Booty in. Core tight. Just trying to extend those arms a little bit more, maybe each time. Breathe. It's a small movement, but it is so good. Working those stabilizers, working that core for five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, Tut team. We got one more round here. Big breath. Exhale. Third and final round of this block. Get back onto that ball. Position yourself, We're ready to move. Three, two, one. Third and final round, let's go. Crunch, crunch it in, maybe getting a little bit more height. Nice, full foot is on the ground. Yes, this is your 30 minutes. Death by core workout. Breathe. Nice, 30 seconds in, 20 to go right here. Give me a little bit more height if you can. Lift, crunch. Remember just resting those fingers, you're doing the work from the core. Yes, full crunch. Nice, here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Let it go onto your ball for your planks. Are you going on to a high plank? Are you challenging yourself off the knees? Let's get it. Three, two, one. Stay tight and hold 50 seconds. If you're on your toes, can you fight through for the full 50? Staying here with me. Yes, yes, yes. Push into those shoulders. Keep the booty and core tight. Yes, watch it's not lifting, right? If you're lifting, lower it down. If you're like, Sammy, I can't. All good, get to those knees. Tight, tight core. Push the booty in and stay with me for another 20 seconds, yeah? Maybe you're on those toes, fight for it. Tut team, yes we can, breathe right here. <sighs> Embrace the shakes, we all have them. Hold, hold, hold for five, four, three, two, one, let it go. We got rollouts and then we are done, block two. Big breath, inhale. Exhale, let it go. <sighs> Last 50 seconds of work for this block. Here we go, three, two, one. Roll it out, bring it in. Good, roll it out, bring it in. If you need to reposition, if you are on those toes, it's a small movement, right? Bring it in, come on. Last 40 seconds of work, less than that. Good, you got 30 right here. Stay tight, commit to finish this block. Yes, you can, push. Big breaths. If you're on those knees, again, keeping that core tight. Hold, ooh, fight through. You got 15 seconds here. 
small movement. Roll it out, bring it in. Roll it out, yes. Here we go, five, four, three. Maybe you're fighting for it on those toes. Two, one, let it go and put that ball away. Excellent work, team. Well-deserved break, grab a sip of water, towel off. We got one more mat burner to finish, okay? Finishing with that core. Three exercises, only two rounds this time, okay? So we are gonna go to our mat. Take this moment, I'm gonna demo the exercises. Your wrists are prepped. We've done so much plank work already, but this time from a high plank position, hands are underneath your shoulders. You are gonna do knee to elbow, same arm. As you notice, I'm slightly bending my elbow to get the knee there, okay? Then you're gonna switch to the other side. Yes, right here, okay? If you'd prefer to do that from those forearms, feel free to be right here, if any discomfort in the wrist from a high plank, okay? You choose either low plank or high plank, but right into that after we are doing 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off, you are gonna go from a high plank down to low plank. Push back up to high plank. You gotta watch those shifts in the hips. How to do so, keep the core tight, slowly move down and slowly press back up, okay? Last but not least, you're flipping onto your back and you are gonna hold Nice hollow hold, you know I love my hollow holds. Keeping those feet, heels off the ground, keeping the shoulders off the ground. If you're like Sammy, uh-uh, keep those hands low down here, okay? We got this, it's only two rounds. Six minutes of work and then we're donezo. On the timer, all right? Onto your mat, that's all you need. It's your beautiful selves and this mat. We are ready to work, team, six minutes, okay? Three, you're starting with your high plank, knee to elbow, or low plank, knee to elbow. Three two, one, here we go. 50 seconds of work right here, keeping the booty down. You guys know the drill. Core is nice and tight. Good, use your breath. Try to reach for that knee to the same arm elbow, right? Good, working the obliques right here. If you're onto those forearms, that is fine, you are here, good. If you're on those knees and you're like, Sammy, I need it for the knees, you can still do that right here. Yes, you're just moving everything nice and slow and controlled, right? You got five seconds, four, three, two, one. Let it go, maybe shake out those wrists. We are going low plank to high plank, got it? Here we go, inhale, exhale, three, Two, one, let's do it. Slow and control, go down to those forearms. Up to high plank. Make sure you're alternating arms that are going down and coming back up, right? Staying tight. Up, good. Lower, lift up, nice. Lower, lift up. You got it, your pace, your pace, your workout. Let's go. Almost there. 20 seconds left to that hollow hold. Down, lift it up, keeping the core tight, keeping the booty in, tucked in. If you're on those knees, that is totally fine to go from here. I just want you to watch that your hips aren't lifting, okay? Hold this, five seconds, four, three, two, one. Let it go, hollow hold, round one, almost done. Onto your back either hands above head or lowered. Ready? Three, two, one. Hold it right here, embrace the shakes. If those heels have to tap, that's okay. Lift back up. If you're like, ugh, I can't, it's okay. Take a moment here. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Hold, hold, hold. Yes, yes, yes. Fight for it. Hands don't have to be above head. Keep them down. Drop those feet if you can, then lift up again. Good, fight, fight, fight. We are so close to that finish line, team. Hold it, core tight, low back into the ground. Yes, fight. Ready, we got five seconds. Almost got you, four, hold, three, two, one. Now you can let go, stretch it above head. We got one more round, and then we are done this core burner. I can't even keep up. This is awesome, one more round, okay? Big inhale. Exhale, make the modifications that you need. Make sure your wrists are nice and comfortable. 
and protected if anything go onto those forearms, right? Here we go. We got knee to elbow. Three, two, one. Pick your poison. Are you on the forearms or are you on that high plank? Good. Breathe, booty down. We got three exercises, less than three minutes of work, and we are done. Yes, fight through. Good. Breathe tight. Good. That's okay if you're on those forearms. This is just as challenging right here. Reaching that elbow to the knee. I mean the knee to the elbow. Good. You got 10 seconds. Push. Nice. Five, four, three, two, one. Let it go. Two minutes of work. All right? Two. High plank to low plank. Back up. And then you got your hollow hold. We got this. We ready? Three, two, one. Onto those toes. Let's go down. Back up. Good. Switch. Arm that goes down. Press back up. Staying tight. Keeping that booty low. Up. Good. Nice, you move at your pace. You're on the knees, down you go. Lift it back up. Good, making sure again, hips are tucked underneath. Down you go, lift it up. Nice fight, keep it up. You got 10 seconds, can you get on those toes with me? Can we push through this last round? Come on, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. One exercise. Yes, tut team. One minute of work. Give me your best hollow hold yet, all right? In three, two, one. Embrace the shakes together. Lay it out. That's okay if we lower the heels. Give me at least 20 seconds. Fight for it. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe your hands are above head. Maybe you're like, ah! Whatever you need to do to hold that hollow. Yes, 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 yes. All right, you're 20 seconds in. You want to lower those heels. Big stretch, then lift back up. Come on, we fight through to the end together. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Exhale, keep the core tight. Yes, 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 yes. Here we go, last 10 seconds. Hold it with me, nine, eight, seven, fight for it. Six, five, squeeze everything. Four, three, come on. Two, one, let it go. Let that workout go. Take a moment on your mat. I want you to have hands above the head. Stretch, 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 stretch. From the tips of your fingers, bottom of your toes, reach. Inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, reach. Exhale, let it go. Take a moment here. I'd like you guys to flip over onto your tummy. We're gonna stretch out the core, all right? From your stomach, lay down onto your mat. Hands are gonna go right beside your chest. Neck is nice and long on your inhale. I want you to rise just a little bit and stay here for your exhale. Another inhale right here. Exhale, if you wanna to go to an upward dog, onto the tops of those feet. Gaze is up and forward. Chest is nice and open, stretching out the front of the core, stretching out all the hard work we just did. Big more, inhale, exhale, bring it down. Nice, seated position onto your mat. Couple more stretches before I let you go. Cross those legs if you can. One hand onto the ground, so if I have my left hand onto the ground, I'm gonna inhale my right arm up. Exhale, just reaching to that side. Stretching the obliques, stretching the lat, everything on my side here feels a nice stretch. Good, hold three, two, one. Inhale through center. Exhale, put the other hand down and reach, 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 reach. Stretch it out, breathe, be proud of your hard work. Hold three, two, one. Inhale through center, arms come up, inhale. Exhale, let it go. 
Tut team. That is your 30-minute core workout. Thank you for joining. I'll see you next time. Much love.